Hey guys, my name is Les Tokar and I am the editor-in-chief of a technology website called the SSD Review. If you're not familiar with their website, simply go to the address bar of your browser and type in T-H-E-S-S-D-R-E-V-I-E-W and hit enter. Today, we're happy to bring to you our very first unboxing video of a solid-state drive and we have a rather unique solid-state drive for that purposes. Uh, we'd like to thank Runcore uh, as they have sent us the very first uh, sample of this SSD to leave the factory. It is a Runcore Rocket Air SATA 3 SSD. Um, it is LSI Sandforce driven and this one is 256 gigabytes in capacity which is rather unusual for a Sandforce driven SSD. I don't know if you can see it, but if you take a look at the back of the box, you'll see that it speaks of performance up to 540 megabytes per second transfer speeds. As I said, this SSD is a bit unique because it is a blade style or a, as some might call it, a gumstick style SSD. The only other on the market at present is that of Otherworld Computing with their Mercury Aura Pro 6G SSD. And these were first found in MacBook Air uh, laptops. There's an example of it. This SSD is compatible with the MacBook Air 2011 revision. It is compatible with the Lenovo, uh, does that help a little bit? The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. It is also compatible with the Asus ZenBook series. It's a rather special SSD, and I'll tell you why. Uh, first off, as we had said, it is Sandforce driven, and there is the uh, Sandforce flash storage processor right there. Also, it's 256 gigabytes in capacity, which is very unusual as, as we see most Sandforce drives will be 60, 120, 240, or 480 gigabytes uh, in capacity. Uh, speaking to ADATA, the only other manufacturer to put out a Sandforce driven SSD in full binary capacity points, uh, such as 128 or 256 gigabytes earlier this year, they said the only way they could do it is by using the absolute top pick, cream of the crop, and then flash memory. So we are hoping to see that with this one in here. In fact, the uh, memory in use is, you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight modules, each being 32 gigabytes in capacity of Toshiba toggle mode 25 nanometer MLC memory. Uh, many people will probably tell you that's the best you can get. In the package we will also find a adopter kit and a cable. The adopter kit uh, obviously will fit the SSD inside and I've already taken the uh, screws off of the back. So when you're going to migrate your system you simply unscrew the package, slip in the SSD, screw the package back on, You'll see the connector right down here. Plug in your connector and you'll see a USB 3 cable for ultra fast speeds. Now this will allow you through programs such as Migra or su such as Paragon or, uh, or Norton to migrate uh, from the present hard drive or SSD in your system uh, which will most likely be the actual another blade SSD in this case uh, to the new uh, Runcore 
SATA 3 Rocket Air SSD. I can't confirm it just yet, but I am going to bet you that the Rocket Air has a software migration package either on the Runcore website or maybe even on the SSD itself, which I've seen in the past, uh, that sets you on your way. Without further ado, once again, this is the Runcore Rocket Air SATA 3 SSD, soon to make it to retailer shelves, uh, not sure of the exact pricing. Um, again, my name is Les Tolkar, I am the editor-in-chief of the SSD Review, and I hope you enjoyed our first video. Thank you.